Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to show you the one of the vCenter initial configuration step. So that initial configuration step will be how to create a data center in vCenter Server 7.0. Okay, so as we know, to manage multiple ESXi hosts, we require a vCenter server. Once we install and we have to do some configuration steps in our vCenter server. The main initial installation configuration step is we have to create a data center. OK, so let quickly log into our lab system and we can create a data center. So log into our home lab system. Let's verify that our vCenter server, make sure that vCenter server is up and running. See so vCenter VM is up and running. And our vCenter server IP is 192.168.10.70. So open a browser. You can use any browser, let's say Google Chrome, and type our vCenter server IP address. So vCenter server IP is 10.70. And once we enter the vCenter server IP address, it will launch the vCenter server homepage. From the homepage, launch vSphere client HTML5. Once we launch HTML5, log in with our administrator credential. If we want to create a data center, either we have a direct local administrator credential or equivalent administrator permissions to create a data center. Normally in the real time scenarios, uh, our organizations have a internal active directory. So we should have a active directory domain admin permissions or virtual mission power uh, data center level permissions. If you have that permission, that permissions is also required on a vCenter level permissions. Once we assign the appropriate permission using that account, we can create a data center. OK, suppose when I log into vCenter, there is a one data center is already created. Uh, if you want to remove this one, just right click the data center and delete. So this is the actual initial step. Our vCenter server is running without any data center. When we log into vCenter server and you can see multiple options in the left side menu. If you go to the shortcuts, you can see inventory monitoring administration under inventory section click on host and clusters you can see this wizard within the inventory wizard you can see our vcenter server version 7.0.3 that means it's update 3 edition and when we select the vcenter server right side go to the data centers you can see currently there is no items found so if you want to create a data center we have multiple options right click the vcenter server name and you can see new data center this is one option and option two go to the data center tab and here in the above you can see the actions and click on actions you can see new data center option so any method you can create for example i'm selecting actions new data center when you create a data center default there is a name this name is like a law it's a data center is nothing but it's a logical container it consists of host clusters folders virtual machines and so on so for this logical container, you can keep any of the name, but normally the real time scenarios, the main useful use cases, we should follow the standard naming convention as per our organization standards. Like uh, suppose I want to create a production data center. You can mention as production data center, or if you want to create a data center for a, let's say site a data center, you can create a site a data center name. Or else if you want to keep your organization any of the location specific location you can mention the location name let's say for example i want to create one data center is in india so let's say data center name is india and click on okay so this is the one data center location and again if you want to create another data center again the same procedure select the vcenter server right click data center you can keep your data center location name let's say another location is singapore so I'm giving the example location names. You can keep any of your your organization convenient locations. OK, let's say another location I'm keeping as a USA. OK, three locations we created. Similarly, we can create in a multiple ways. Suppose I want to create a data center for my organization unit. Let's say my organization unit name is I keeping as a site A. You can create site A data center. And same way, I want to create data center for my site B. So you can mention the name as site B. 
and click on OK. You can create a number of data centers depends on your organization units or your organization branches specific physical locations you can create a logical data center in v center level and let's say i want to create a data center for site b and site c also so like this you can create multiple see if you see the left side you can have a multiple data centers even in the data center tab you can see all our data center names and similarly you can keep any of the different type of names also like uh, production data center you can keep production dc this name also we can use and another logical name we can use like test and dev testing and development data center shortcut dc and same way another data center for a dr site let's say you can keep the name as dr hyphen dc data center dr data center so like this we can use any specific naming conventions you can follow okay and let's back to the slide See, the data center means a virtual data center is a container for all inventory objects required to complete a fully functional require environment for operating virtual machines. OK, we can create multiple data centers to organize group of en environments to meet different user needs. And each data center has its own host, VMs, templates, data stores and networks. And normally the use case for the data center, as I mentioned for the use case one, we can create a data center for each organizational unit in our enterprise and look it's like a based on the location. One example I given as site A one data center, site B one data center, site C. Generally site A means you can mention your organization specific location names. OK, and another use case sometimes in our vCenter server instead of locations, we can also make it as a specific environment wise, like we can create data center based on any environment, one data center specifically to test and development and another environment for production and another environment for disaster recovery site. So these three are the it represents as a specific environment. So normally test and dev means all our test ESX host test virtual machines running in this data center and our production workloads will run on a production data center and our disaster recovery site. It maintains the all our disaster recovery exercise related ESX host virtual machines, data stores, networks and so on. Okay. So let's back to lab system again. Even when we click on data center, all the data center just now I created. If you see your success host count is zero and VM count is zero. Our next job will be we have to create the ESXA host to this data center and create a virtual machines and to securely maintain our ESXA host and virtual machine. We have to create a clusters. So this portion I will show you in the next subsequent quick bite. OK, that's it for today. Thank you. So please help to subscribe to my channel, Nan Cloud Garage. Thank you so much. Bye for now.